Hello, warlocks of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning in to the 38th episode of our Eldritch Invocation series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Sign of Ill Omen. I've mentioned this on a couple other videos. Uh, reason being is it gives you a pretty cool ability that you actually need to access some of the best invocations of the game. Um, or at least one way of doing it. In any case, uh, let's take a look at the description so we know what we're talking about. First and foremost, there is a prerequisite for this invocation, and that is you have to be at least 5th level. Uh, this is 5 levels in Warlock, by the way, not 5 levels to hold a character level, so just bear that in mind. The description reads as followed. You can cast Bestow Curse once using a Warlock spell slot. You can't do so again until you finish a long rest. Uh, we've dealt with a lot of invocations like this in the past. I, I really wish it said short rest. Honestly, you get all your other spell slots back at a short rest, so I don't see why this would be any different. Uh, it is really good, though. Anyways, uh, that being said, let's break down Bestow Curse in the overview section here. So essentially, uh, touch one creature on a failed wisdom save, they are cursed by one of several effects. Uh, these effects are choose an ability score, the target has disadvantage on checks and saves, in relation to that ability score at least. Your attacks and spells deal an extra 1 to 8 necrotic damage to the target, uh, disadvantage on, a, on attack rolls against you, and the target makes a wisdom save at the start of each turn, on a failed save they waste their reaction doing nothing. Okay, so obviously some of those at a glance at least seem a little bit better than others, but for the most part I think they're all pretty good. It also mentions that if you have come up with any ideas of your own, you can run it past your DM. Um, as to what those might be, you know, I think it would be fairly cool if you made it so that um, the first attack that that target takes after its turn is done so with disadvantage, or advantage, sorry, or, um, there'll be another good one here. Let's say they take, I don't know, an extra 1 die 4 psychic damage every time they get hit by an attack. Something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool and pretty fair. Um, in any case, if you can come up with any uh, other ones, please put them down in the comments beneath. I think we'd all really appreciate that. Um, that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, have a great day, and as always, happy casting.